Akai just released an update for their NPCs that gives you four free plugins to use standalone. The Air Chorus, Air Multi-Tap Delay, Air Expander, and Air Vintage Filter. And if you use the NPC software, it'll give you the Air Spectral plugin that you can only use on your desktop. I'm going to demo each plugin so you can see what they can do and decide if you feel like you want to update or not. You guys ready? Let's get it. Okay, here we are. NPC software, I got everything down like FYI, just so you know, um, it gives you a warning, but you got to come to your um, preferences and you'll see this thing that says activate plugins over here. Click that and then you'll see all the plugins that you can get and then activate them. That's how you get it going. All right. And then after you do that, you're back over here. I kind of got it set up already just so we can move along pretty fast. So I uploaded a kit and made a quick melody just so we can demonstrate. It goes like this. So first up, we got our delay. If you make beats, you already know what a delay does. All right. I try to pick three favorites. So right now I like this one. I like the initial patch as well, so because I feel like that'll add something to it, just makes it sound more full. And then we'll have um, overdub. Let's try this one. I feel like you would use that at like the end of a song to make, make it just sound crazy. All right, so I mean, that's a delay, nothing you probably don't know already. All right, next we got the filter, the vintage filter. Water droplets I like. Let's try that one. All right, I think we like um, Future Brass. I like this one. That was a cool one. And then we'll do one more. We'll do the uh, bass wobble. You're going to need your headphones for this one. So we got that going. All right, let's go to our chorus. FYI, if you're new to this software, there is a free version called MPC Beats that you can download right now and start making music with it. And I have a course showing you how to use it in the description below if you need it. But just so you know, these plugins will not be available to use with MPC Beats. All right, what I like is the fast mono. Let's try it. It almost, it almost gives it like a wah type of sound, wah guitar sound. I like that. Another one is a uh, robot voice. Cool. And then let's try, I think the birds is good. The chorus really just sounds like a phaser to me. I'll do spectral last because only desktop users are going to be able to use that. So everyone else can use the other one. So this is the expander. I feel like this is better on drums on the way it works. Like, let me play. I just have a kick going on a downbeat. Now watch what we have. What happens when we put the tight 808? See how it like makes it more like beefier on the bottom. Cool. Then we'll try um a soft attack. Let's go back to the initial so you can hear it. Soft attack. See, kind of made it softer. 
threshold turn it up. Back up. See how it makes it makes it softer. Anyway. So you can see how you can use it. And then let's do um tight. Because I think this is dope when you have like a kick that is like the tail is too long. So like without it, that's how it sounds. Put the tight one on. So this makes it look real short. But that's that, all right. Spectros is basically like, this is how it sounds. Like it's kind of tight on that second half. This it sounds kind of dope. Sounds like water, like a phaser, basically. Um, let me see what I like. Try for that noise. Right. Go to cellular. These are the cool, weird sound, and then we'll do uh, jingle bells. There we go. Yeah, it's kind of tight. I probably feel like uh, swelling noise is the best one, because now instead of having like it sound like this. Now I'm, I'm gonna turn all of them on together so you hear the vibes. Make like make it gives it like a new character. It sounds like. I mean, that's just one thing I did. Nothing crazy, but like you can just mess around with it if you want to. But I mean, you have probably tons of effects already. If you have a doll, um, you can just mess around and add things and just do crazy things with them. So that's it. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed that demonstration. Let me know what you think in the comments, how you feel about these plugins. Is it worth the upgrade or are you waiting for Akai to do something special for you to upgrade later? I don't know, but please, I'd love to hear what you think. Let me know in the comments. All right. And if you'd like to learn how to remake a Timbaland beat using MPC beat software, make sure you watch this video right now.